Greetings, unsettled souls. Welcome to the Correct Views. I am Sam Deganji, your host. Uh, let's ring the bell because uh, all right, that's enough bell ringing. Uh, another prediction has come true here on the Correct Views. Those were horrible bell samples. Good lord. Where is the behind-the-scenes queen when you need her the most? The Wall Street Journal U.S. warns of Islamic State threat to Americans in Afghanistan. That'd be ISIS. That'd be Daesh. Always call them Daesh. That'd be Daesh. Evacuation effort continues amid chaos outside the Kabul airport, where U.S. forces are set up to stop potential attacks. Now, I know for sure that I was one of the people that said terrorism would be back in this region, didn't I? Regardless of what you do or don't think about Donald Trump, it is a matter of historical record. It cannot be argued that Donald Trump defeated ISIS, and he did so rather rapidly. Now, what, eight months into the presidency of the senile one, or whoever's pulling his strings. We have ISIS back again. Now they're trying to spin this and say, well, if Donald Trump, and if, he'd create, if he defeated ISIS, then why well, would they be back already? Well, because they took the weapons that Joe Biden left behind. Because Joe Biden didn't destroy the weapons before he pulled the military out of the country any more than he got the civilians and our allies and those who helped us out of the country before the military left. Oh, the State Department got their people out, though. Don't you worry. That, that, that sure happened. Well, remember the Taliban? They said they were going to be uh, a more moderate, and they destroyed a woman for how she was dressed, said they were going to be more, they, more moderate, and they burnt down an amusement park because it had statues in it. <laughs> Washington, the U.S. warned that Islamic State poses a threat to Americans in Afghanistan as the Biden administration seeks to evacuate thousands of U.S. citizens and Afghan allies. Oh, but the Taliban, they, they, they were going to be more moderate, and they, there wasn't going to be terrorism being launched from there. This is where I say that you cannot overemphasize what a great president in many aspects Donald Trump was for this country. And that's one way you can prove that. And it's not opinion. That's why I say prove. It's called the correct views, because we're correct here. Donald Trump told the Taliban in no uncertain terms, and we've covered this on the show before, if you so much as sneeze at one U.S. personnel member, U.S. citizen, or anybody that we're attempting to have leave here, we will bomb you so that there is not enough of you left for the maggots to infest when they are done with the cow dung that you feed to your sister. Do you understand? That's what Donald Trump did not play with that. Well, now look what we've got. What, they're not gonna they're not gonna launch terrorism from their country? Is that what they said? The threat is real. It is acute. It is persistent. And it is something, the Wall Street Journal here says, we are focused on with every tool in our arsenal. It's a quote from Jake Sullivan, President Biden's national security advisor. Well, imagine that. He said it to CNN on Sunday when he was asked if the crowds at the Cabal International Airport were vulnerable to terrorist attacks. Oh, but didn't Biden say that there wasn't going to be any terrorist attacks? Just, what, a few days ago? It wasn't a week ago. A few days ago that he would talk to the Taliban and none of this was going to happen? Now, mere days later, this bozo is out there telling us it's happening. Shazam, Sparky, the correct views told you that on day one. President Biden, speaking from the White House, said, We know that terrorists may seek to exploit the situation and target innocent Afghans or American troops. We're maintaining constant village, vil, vigilance to monitor and disrupt threats from any source. I thought the Taliban wasn't going to have terrorists for us to worry about launching attacks now that the Taliban has taken over. I thought that was the assurance that was given to Mr. Biden. 
Oh, wait, that was given to Mr. Trump. They don't respect Mr. Biden. Never mind. Concerns over Islamic uh, state attacks, ISIS, Daesh, were one reason that the U.S. Embassy warned Americans on Saturday to avoid traveling to the airport in Kabul. So now you don't even dare travel there, even though it's the only way that you can get out. It went from going to be moderate Islam that was respectful of women's rights to a monster regime in mere days where you can't even travel to the airport. That sounds moderate. You, airports are very unsafe places in most very modern cities. Yeah, that, that makes sense. You failed, Biden. Another one of your failures in vivid color. Islamic State is among several terrorist groups, all lucky us, are present in Afghanistan, each with a different relationship with the Taliban. Oh, they're all make friends now, don't worry. The Taliban had harbored al-Qaeda before the group's terrorist attacks on the U.S. in 2001, and reports have surfaced that the Taliban have freed al-Qaeda fighters from prison. Oh, great. That's wonderful. Hey, you know what I say about the Taliban, friends? You know, they invented condoms in uh, the Middle East, and it was, uh, it was the, the, the distant relatives of, not, not all Islamists, but the distant relatives of the Taliban. They created condoms, and they, they did it by using sheep intestines. Of course, uh, later civilizations made better condoms by removing the sheep. Good night, friends. God bless. Hit share, hit subscribe. Get a hold of me at the correct views at hotmail.com.